Welcome to the wastewater treatment facility in Chattogram Metropolitan City. The sewerage treatment plant in Chattogram will cover six catchment areas. And here, the red polygons are the location of the corresponding treatment plants. The first catchment area will include New Market, Sadhargat, Madharbari, Lalakan Bazar, Enayat Bazar, Agrabah, Diwan Hat, Gosal Danga, Pahartoli, Patantuli, South Katali, and Hali Shahar. The sewerage treatment plant will be located in the southwestern part of this catchment. Here are the trunk sewers and riser sewers, which are the main pipelines of this network. Now let's have a look at the water collection procedure. Conventionally, the grey and black water from kitchens and toilets are stored in the septic tanks installed in the houses. In this new facility, we will collect the overflowing waters from septic tanks by connecting them to the sewage network. For new houses, this water will be bypassed through the pipelines and will be connected with the sewage treatment plant. A network of pipes will be made to connect the houses to the sewage network. Pipelines will be placed underneath the roads which will connect them to the bigger pipes, the trunk sewers. For maintenance, several manholes will be included at regular intervals. Here you can see some of the main trunk lines covering catchment area 1. This will collect the sewage waters and take them to the treatment plant. This is the location of the trunk sewer boring shaft. The tunnel shaft will be 15 meters underneath the ground. An 800 meter continuous pipeline will pass underneath the toll road and rail line and connect with the next shaft which is 800 meters away from the previous one. Finally, the pipeline will reach the sewerage treatment plant located in the southwestern part of the catchment area. Now let's introduce the proposed sewerage treatment plant. This area is for the first phase of sewage treatment and the area beside it is preserved for future extension. The sludge generated from the sewage treatment will be treated in the sludge treatment plant. This treatment plant will be developed now and the northern part will be preserved for future extension. Here, different infrastructures such as the gate entry, main pump station, preliminary treatment plant, biological treatment plant, secondary clarifier, administrative buildings, and staff quarters will be located. Within the sludge treatment plant, there will be a biosolid thickening building, sludge dewatering building, aerobic digester, sludge drying bed, and fecal sludge treatment areas. The main wastewater line, which will collect wastewater from municipal areas, 
will be directed to the main pump room. Here, you can see the details of the pump room. The wastewater coming through the incoming pipe will be screened in this zone where the bar screen will filter out large particles. Then, water will be stored in a wet well and will be pumped into the distribution channel. The next step is the preliminary treatment where the water will be bypassed. Here, water will move to the grit vortex and grit will sediment a sludge. This sludge will then be moved to the sludge treatment area and water will be bypassed to the next screening area to filter out microparticles using a fine screen. From here, the water will be bypassed to the biological treatment plant. In this plant, water will go through three treatment processes, starting with the anaerobic process, followed by the anoxic and aerobic processes. The water flow and speed will be regulated using spinning fans. In the aerobic chamber, bacteria and other microorganisms will decompose organic matter under aerobic conditions. Hence, BOD or dissolved oxygen will be reduced. Nitrates produced in this process will be converted to nitrogen gas and released into the atmosphere. After that, the water will enter a secondary clarifier. Final sediment will be directed towards the sludge treatment area. Water will be bypassed to the effluent chamber. Finally, through this point, the treated water will be discharged into the sea. The sludge generated in the preliminary treatment facility, biological facilities, and the secondary clarifier will be moved to the sludge cleaning areas. These areas include a biosolid thickening building, sludge dewatering building, aerobic digester, fecal sludge treatment, and drying beds. The sludge will be thickened in the biosolid thickening building. Then it will be moved to the sludge dewatering building to dewater the sludge. From 
here, it will be moved to the aerobic digester and then to the sludge drying bed. Here, the sludge surface will be dried and will be carried outside. In the fecal sludge treatment facility, trucks will carry wastewater to here where water will be treated and discharged into the sea.